Leviticus 1. Now Adonai called to Moses and spoke to him out of the tent of meeting, saying, Speak to Benai Israel and tell them, When any of you brings an offering to Adonai, you may present your offering of livestock from the herd or from the flock. If his sacrifice is a burnt offering from the herd, he is to present a male without blemish. He is to offer it at the entrance of the tent of meeting so that he may be accepted before Adonai. He is to lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering so that it will be accepted for him to make atonement on his behalf. He is to slaughter the bull before Adonai, then Aaron's stepsons, the Kohanim, are to present the blood and splash it around the altar that is at the entrance of the tent of meeting. He is to skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron, the Kohen, are to place the fire on the altar and arrange wood upon the fire. Then Aaron's sons, the Kohanim, shall arrange the pieces, the head and the fat, upon the wood that is on the fire, which is atop the altar. But its innards and its legs he is to wash with water. The Kohen shall burn up all burn it all up as smoke on the altar for burnt offering and made by fire, a soothing aroma to Adonai. If his sacrifice is from the flock, from the sheep, or from the goats, for a burnt offering, he shall bring a male without blemish. He is to slaughter it on the north side of the altar before Adonai. Aaron's sons, the Kohanim, are to splash its blood around on the altar. He is to cut it into pieces with his head and its fat. The Kohen shall arrange them upon the wood that is on the fire that is atop the altar. But the innards and the legs he is to wash with water. The Kohen is to offer it all and bring them the altar. It is a burnt offering made by fire, a soothing aroma to Adonai. If his sacrifice to Adonai is a burnt offering of birds, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or young pigeons. The Kohen is to bring to the bring it to the altar, wring it off its head, and burn it on the altar. Then its blood is to be drained out on the side of the altar. Also, he is to cut out its digestive tract with its filth and cast it beside the altar on the east side into the place of fat of the fat ashes. He shall tear it by its wings, but not divide it up. The Kohen shall burn it up on the altar on the wood that is on the fire. It is a burnt offering made by fire, a soothing aroma to Adonai. Leviticus 2. When anyone brings a, s a sacrifice offering of grain to Adonai, his offering shall be a fine flour, and he is to pour oil on it and put frankincense on it. He is to bring it to Aaron's sons, the Gohanim, and he shall take from there his handful of its flour and of its oil with all its frankincense. And the Gohan shall burn it up as smoke, its memorial pr portion on the altar, an offering made by fire, a soothing aroma to Adonai. What is left of the grain offering is for Aaron and his sons, a most holy portion of the offerings of Adonai to Adonai made by fire. When you bring sacrifice offering of grain baked in the oven, it is to consist of matzah, cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, or matzah wafers anointed with oil. If your sacrifice is a grain offering from the pan, it is to consist of fine flour mixed with oil, matzah. You shall cut it into pieces and pour oil on it. It is a grain offering. Now, if your sacrifice is a grain offering of the pan, it is to be made of fine flour with oil. When you bring the grain offering that is made... Of these things to Adonai, it is to be presented to the Kohen, and he is to bring it to the altar. The Kohen is to take it from the grain offering, its memorial proportion, and pour it up as smoke on the altar, an offering made by fire, a soothing aroma to Adonai. What is left of the grain offering is for Aaron and his sons, a most holy portion of the offerings to Adonai made by fire. Every grain offering which you present to Adonai shall be made without hamets, for you are to not burn it up as smoke any hamets, nor any honey as a sacrifice made by fire to Adonai. As a gift of first fruits, you might offer them to Adonai, but they are not to ascend for a soothing aroma on the altar. Also, you are to season with salt every sacrifice of your grain offering. You are to never allow the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from your grain offering. With all your sacrifices, you must offer salt. If you bring a grain offering of first fruits to Adonai, you are to present for the grain offering of your first fruits of fresh ears of barley scorched with fire, crushed grain of fresh ears. You are to then put oil and frankincense on it. It is a grain offering. The Kohen shall burn it up as a memorial portion Part of its crushed grain and part of its oil, along with its frankincense, it is an offering made by fire to Adonai. Chapter 3, Leviticus 3. Now, if his offering is a sacrifice to fellowship offerings, it is from the herd. Whether male or female, he is to offer one without blemish before Adonai. He shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and slaughter it at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Then Aaron sends the Kohanim or to splash the blood around on the altar. He is to bring from the sacrifice of fellowship offerings an offering made by fire to Adonai. The fat that covers the innards, all the fat that is on the entrails, as well as the two kidneys and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, plus the cover of the liver that he must remove with the kidneys. Aaron's sons are to burn it up. I smoke on the altar on top of the burnt offering, which is over the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire, a soothing aroma to Adonai. If his gift is a sacrifice, a fellowship offering to Adonai from the flock, he is to offer male or female without blemish. If he is bringing a lamb for his offering, he shall present it before Adonai. He is to lay his hand on the head of his offering and slaughter it before the tent of meeting. Aaron's sons are to splash its blood around on the altar from the sacrifice of fellowship offerings.
he shall bring a gift made by fire to Adonai. It's fat, the entire tail of fat cut away close to the backbone, along with the fat that covers the innards and all the fat that is on the entrails, as well as the two kidneys and the fat that is over them, which is by the loins, plus the cover on the liver that he is to remove the with the kidneys. The Kohen is to burn it up as smoke on the altar as a food offering made by fire to Adonai. If his offering is a goat, then he shall present it before Adonai. He is to lay his hand on its head and slaughter it before the tent of meeting. Aaron's sons are to splash its blood with blood around the altar. From it, he is to offer his sacrifice an offering made by fire to Adonai. The fat that covers the innards, all the fat that is on the entrails, the two kidneys, and the fat that is over them, which is by the loins and cover on the liver, which he must remove with the kidneys. The Kohen is to burn them on the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire for a soothing aroma. All fat is for Adonai. It is to be a perpetual statute throughout your generation and all your dwellings that you must eat neither fat nor blood.